my drinks are my dessert. You know, this is the sugar, really sugar and like, like vodka. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Grey Goose Presents High Street. I'm your host, Sarah Huang Benjamin, and you can probably tell I'm very happy because in this series, I get to chat with some of Singapore's favorite foodies. Last episode, we spoke to Evelyn Chen. She is an expert on Singapore's food and hawker culture. But in this episode, we're going to meet someone who's basically traveled the world. I'm so excited to bring out today's guest because I've been living vicariously through her Instagram travels and she's probably been to more countries than anyone else I know. So let's bring out Rosalind Lee, aka Roz. Hi! Hi Roz! Thank you for oh, coming. Finally meeting you yes. in the flesh, my Instagram friend. Yes, Instagram friends. Made it real. <laughs> we've been Instagram friends, we've chatted a lot, but this is actually the first time we're meeting in person and it couldn't be a better opportunity to do this because yes i mean i don't know how much you know about what we're nothing. doing today nothing, nothing at all okay so we are going to feed you we're going to give you some good drinks mm. we're going to have good chat yes. and we're going to explore some unexpected pairings since we're in such a loving mood let's just get started let's bring out round one <laughs> got our first pairing, this very pretty pink drink. Mm -hmm. Any guesses what it is? Uh, does it have rose syrup in it? Oh yeah, or it does look like kind of bandung-y, you yeah. know? Yeah. Okay, I mean, let's just try it. Cheers. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Eye contact. Cheers. Eye contact. Eye contact. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Mmm. Not what we were expecting. No. Not rose syrup. No, not rose syrup at all. What is this red color? From. It's actually cranberry. Oh! So you know vodka, cranberry, classic combination, but... This is vodka cranberry. Basically, I mean, done really nicely. It's mm. fizzy, refreshing, not sweet, you know? Yeah, so, not the tacky ones we had in the club. No, we're not tacky, we're very Yeah, this class. is like super highbrow yeah. version of yeah. vodka cranberry. Just for us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I mean, you've tasted this. It's refreshing, it's mm -hmm. tangy, mm -hmm. it's fizzy. What kind of local food do you think would pair well with this? What do you think is under there? If I were to drink this with something local, like it would be something greasy and spicy. Mmm. Yeah, to cut the oil, you know? Citrus cuts oil. I think that's a pretty good guess. I don't know what's under there either, so should yeah. we just find out? Okay. Okay, let's do it. Hey! <laughs> ah, pretty good. <laughs> popia! So popia, this is popia, of course. So not exactly greasy, but... No. You know, very flavorful. Yeah, it's super strong flavors as well. It's got prawn in it, heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Like dry prawns. And garlic paste, mm. chili paste. Yes. So yes, it might be spicy. Okay. Let's just go for it. Okay. Have a piece. What, what are you like? Are you the middles or the ends kind of popia girl? Middle. Okay, I'm the ends. We are oh. popia bodies. Oh my god, then great. We can take the ones right next to each other. Okay. Cheers. Mm, it smells like it's got chili in it. Mmm. Mmm. One of the all-time mm. best foods, in my opinion. Mm. What do you think of the pairing? It works, Actually, right? it works. Mm. I think with the Grey Goose Vodka, it's kind of like it slips in mm -hmm. that alcoholic kick, but it's really smooth, so you don't really feel it too much. The thing about Grey Goose, I remember years and years back when you did a launch in Singapore many years ago. <laughs> like, it was the smoothest vodka mm. I've ever had in my life. You know, it changed my mind about vodka mm -hmm. this is usually so hot heating and, and everything but yeah. it's so smooth it sneaks in like you said it's, it's dangerous 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 <laughs> we're talking about unexpected pairings you know mm -hmm. this drink this popia i have something unexpected that's been hiding in plain sight this whole okay. time on my little coaster here this is actually a little conversation prompt what is the best part of having new experiences for you and what do you enjoy most about them i think i'm always looking for difference in my life mm -hmm. like something that can change me or bring out something that I I've already had in me but never knew about I don't know I just like to be shocked and changed mm. like, yeah and challenged and you appreciate your comfort more when you've been yes. shocked out of it okay and just like that let's get straight to round number two and I have a feeling that you're excited to see this cocktail yes Yes, it's my, a martini. Is this one of your favorites? Yes, it's actually my favorite drink. <gasps> Great, cheers. 
Mm. Mm. Super dirty. This is actually the first way that I ever had Grey Goose vodka was in a dirty mm. martini. So this takes me right back. It's so good. Oh, it's yummy. Mm. This is like alcohol soup. Alcohol <laughs> soup. Mm. I guess it is. It's super savory. Mm. You know, it's got that saltiness. I'm oh, actually that. really curious what's under the cloche because... It has to be sweet, right? Usually you get like a sweet or a tangy cocktail and then savory dish. So yeah. what what are we thinking here? Okay. I can guarantee it's not ice kacang because, I mean, it, yeah. doesn't, it wouldn't fit. Maybe, I don't know, goreng pisang? Goreng pisang. Well, I would love that. But let's find out what it actually is. <gasps> Indian oh, roja. Indian roja. Uh, what? You know what? Mm. I get it. Indian roja is a little bit sweet. So this pairing is interesting. We've got Indian roja and like, dirty martini. I know it's totally unexpected. Honestly. Okay, gotta try it. And I, and I like that this doesn't have that radioactive mm -hmm. pink gooey sauce. You can actually see the chili in this yeah. one. I feel like it's gonna be spicy. I feel like I need to okay. use my hands. I'm going straight for the head. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. Mmm. Mm. Okay, actually, no. Mmm. It's very peanutty actually for mm. Indian roja. And sweet chili. Mmm. I mean, you went far off when you guessed something sweet. Mm -hmm. It is spiced, mm -hmm. it's savory, but I do think of Indian rojak as kind of a sweet dish. Mm -hmm. And I think it will go really well mm -hmm. with this. Oh, it really works. It does. Could this be my new favorite combination? I feel like... Sarah Benjamin Huang or Sarah Huang Benjamin. <laughs> If this is your favorite combination, you're going to have a hard time in a hawker center. <laughs> That's true. You're going to bring a shake. I got to bring my own. Bring my own. I just walk B -Y -O -M. into the hawker center. <laughs> One Indian rojak, please. And a dirty martini on the side. Just now, mm. I had my little conversation starter mm. coaster. I'm not keeping all the fun to myself. You actually have one under oh, really? there as well. It's like one of those drink bottles, you know, with a bottle tap question. <laughs> What's the one thing you tell your younger self? I would tell her that you can do anything and you're better than you think you are. What would you tell your younger self? To be kinder mm. on, on myself because I feel like as a, as a child, I took on a lot mm. of responsibilities and, and weight that I didn't realize. And it can get really overbearing. Mm. Yeah, so I just want to be kind to myself. You had a lot of weight to carry, but it's okay. Just be kind eventually to yourself. I love where we're at now. Yeah, same here. Right? Okay, cheers to our younger selves. So I'm going to bring out something that I think you'll like very much. Okay. We've got something a little fancy because we're fancy girls. <laughs> I'm going to bring out some caviar. Ah! We're going to do caviar buns. Let's bring it out. Okay, I know you're not supposed to take caviar from a metal spoon, but we wanted to give you a really big caviar bump, so we have these massive tablespoons. Okay. Cheers! I don't mind. Mmm. <laughs> so massive that I'm actually chewing the caviar. Well, there's still some left. Wash it down with your dirty martini. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. mm. Younger selves, look at us now. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, I know I brought the caviar out at the end of round two, but let's hope round three can top it. Let's bring it, it out. It's better. <laughs> better. Oh. <laughs> better. And we have our third and final pairing of drinks and food. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this drink. I don't think, I it's, mean, I wouldn't be able to guess what this is. It's a, it's got a grape in it. It's, mm -hmm. it's won my heart. Oh, it's won your heart already? Yeah. Just from the looks. Okay, let's see I like. if it can get even better. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. It, it, it tastes exactly as how I, how it looks and how I think yes. it tastes. Well, this is 100% my kind of drink. So, mm. it's got Gregor's vodka. It's got vermouth and it's got grapes. Oh, you know, I'm like very apprehensive about cocktails. When I go into a cocktail bar, I always order a straight up martini mm. because I don't like all the sugars that go into the cocktail. Mm -hmm. And this was perfect. This is like, if I were to get a mixed kind of cocktail, it would be something like this. So elegant, but it's yeah. got just that fruitiness. And a bit of bitter balance. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so it's a complex drink. What kind of dish do you think would go with this? I really don't know anymore. <laughs> to be honest, I, I mean, I cook for a living and I, I'm trying to think what would go with this. I don't know anymore. Every time I think I know something, it just like becomes the total opposite. Just let's just open it. Okay, <laughs> no more guessing. Let's more just guessing. find out. <gasps> oh, my favorite! <laughs> and 
there's hum. Yeah, I mean, there has to be hum. So this is actually the famous Cha Kui Tiao from Utram Park at mm. Hong Lim Food Center. It's a really good one. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you're very excited. Let's just I'm very, I'm let's just excited. go for it. Let's like, just you go know, for it. I, I appreciate Cha Kui Tiao in all forms, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, I respect it. But when I see prawn in it, I get legit upset. Yeah, yeah I know. It's like Cha Kui Tiao with chili, extra hum. Yeah. No harm, no life, mm. you know? Mm. 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 I'm kind of trying to figure out how it would work. Oh my gosh, it works so well. Let me try again. It works so well. The savouriness of the Cha Kui Tiao, that slight hit of chilli, and it's all washed down with the slight sweetness, the grapiness. Oh my gosh, this, this is pairing is just... Oh, so good, so and good. In particular, like, it goes really well with the cockles. Mm. Mm. Because the cockles, you know, tend to have a very irony, bloody yep. kind of aftertaste, and I think the bitterness balances it out. And then it just leaves you with a hint of that grapey flavor yeah. just at the end. I'm not a desserts person, so this, my drinks are my dessert. <laughs> this is just sugar dessert. and like, like vodka. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> vodka wins hands down. You've traveled around basically the world. I know that every time you come home to Singapore, you're so excited to be home. What's the first thing that you get from the hawker center? Mm. And I go to this hawker center with my luggage. Wow, sometimes. straight from the airport. Depending Dedication. on what time I land. Yeah. Okay, because the store opens at 9 a.m. I will go to Sungai Road, Laksa at 27 Jalan Besar. If you love Laksa, and you I love I love that place. Right? Yes. Right? Oh my god. Like amazing. if you love Laksa and you don't think that's the best Laksa, sorry, you're dead in my eyes. <laughs> it's like with my luggage, I'll be like extra bean sprouts, extra hum, and I'll just like it'll yeah. be my first meal all the time. We've had our final pairing, but we're not quite done. We have a little extra surprise. Oh, really? We've got a rapid fire round. Oh, my and we're gonna ask you some questions and you have 30 seconds to answer. I actually have the questions. They've been right here all along. Oh my gosh. But I have a little warm-up question for you. Okay. So chocolate tail or caviar? Between the two. I'm already missing this this what used to be here. Chocolate tail. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. Oh, yes. I love that. Okay. What's a meal you can whip up in no time? Uh, pasta with anchovies and chili padi and garlic. Mmm, that sounds good. Mm. Okay, if you could choose to, where would you wake up tomorrow? Mm. Oh, this one needs time. I would like to wake up in... <laughs> I mean, you've seen too much of the world. I would love to wake up in Antarctica. Mmm, okay. You can carpool karaoke with any musician who's in the passenger seat. Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. Mmm. And what's... Oh. What?! <laughs> 30 seconds is up?! 30 seconds is up! <laughs> that's all we get. I took too long with Antarctica. I mean, that's a, that's a tough question. Yeah. Thank you for choosing to be here today. Yes. I've had so much fun finally getting to meet you, yeah. getting to eat all that delicious food. Which was your favorite pairing of today? I think today, I mean, I'm biased completely with chocolate and that grape cocktail. The grape escape? Is it? The, the grape escape. <laughs> the grape escape. Grape escape. <laughs> that was my funny. favorite too. I loved it. I love being able to finally meet you in person. I know, and thank you for existing. You're real you're and real. you're amazing. Oh, you're and, amazing. And thanks for feeding me. I had such a great time and thank you for joining. We hope you had a great time, but remember to stay tuned for the next episode of Grey Goose Presents High Street and I'll see you then. Bye!